Oh, nope, oh. they're in there. Oh. Kitty, you're gonna get stung. Why don't I just have a suit on? Oh, this one's heavy. <laughs> they're gonna be so angry though if I open that up right now. Uh, I don't wanna get stung. The comment section needs to see you get stung. <laughs> So, you want to go see her? <laughs> go see her. He's gonna sit here and be cute. He's gonna sit here and be cute. <laughs> and you're fluffy. You're getting ready for winter time. Mm -hmm. All right. Hopefully, we brought a hide tool. Or oh, this is gonna be really fun. Also, by the way, look at this bee suit. I have a video that I saw the other day of what it looked like when I first got it. And now my bee suit is like gross, like, and it's only a year old. Not even a year old. It's only like nine months. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got it. They were in here. <laughs> oh no. Gosh dang it. I didn't know they were in the back. Mm. Ah. Is that a little check? Yeah, no, it no, it's gone. Do you know how to use I, it? I don't. I don't know how a camera works. <laughs> a cameraman. <laughs> I'm still learning how it goes. Okay, I'm going to try to do this without a bee suit on and see what happens. And hopefully we don't get lit up. But if we do get stung, it'll probably be the last time we're going to get stung for a while. So maybe that's okay. <laughs> God, my job is going to love you. Oh, because of... Yeah. <laughs> well, you gave me this sweatshirt. So I'll wear it. And it's cozy. But okay. I give so, it legit clothing. This year, our goldenrod flow was absolute crap. So I want to check on these hives just to make sure they have enough food stores because in a couple weeks it'll be December and that's usually when we put on some sugar. So we're trying to get kind of like a picture of how much sugar we're going to need for all the, all the hives. So yeah, yeah, see how they're doing. Let's see how they're doing. <laughs> oh, we're in Amish country. It smells like, like cows, which is a lot of cows over there. You can definitely smell them. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the country smell. Shoot. Well, we won't know until we find out. Do you want to do it? Go for it. <laughs> I don't want to be the one that gets stung in the don't, face. Don't be a scary cat. <laughs> okay, I know I crack in the top just because they sealed this down all nice and pretty, so I don't want to ruin it. Oh, they're not going to be happy. Oh, good. They're still in the bottom. Nice and cluster. That's perfect. Okay. I do love Ripley-Doo. So if they are all in the top box, that means that their food stores are going to be pretty low. But when they're in the bottom box like that, that means there's still some food. The less food there is, the higher up they move. Because usually all the food is above them since they put all like the honey in an arc over them. Um, so that's also kind of what I'm looking at. That's why I'm not picking them up and seeing the weight. Can't really do that on these pollination hives. Um, yeah, just basing it all off a of location, pretty much. <laughs> like the sound of that. Okay, I remember that this one was insane last time, so hopefully they don't go crazy on us. Uh oh. <laughs> I would. I would say. Um. Let's see what happened to the. The little one-framer. The little one-framer? The one in the back. Okay, you can get that. The one that we decided to just leave alone and see. Oh, wow. What? That, that cow smell got stronger over I here. I told you the cow smell is really Oof. strong. And they are gone. Oh, it's been robbed out, too. It got robbed out, so good, perfect. Yeah, here I'll show you guys. You guys can see. I can't see it on the camera. Look at that. See all this comb? How it looks like chewed down? That's how we know it's been robbed out. Because usually it's not all jagged like that. It's all nice and pretty. But I see some eaten comb all over the place too. 
Mm -hmm. I figured they wouldn't survive. Yeah, but it also gave the resources to these guys. I yeah. guess they're the ones that took it. Yeah, so that's helpful. Um, um, we can we can block that entrance completely so no mice get in or whatever. Oh, we have a cat that does that for us. Oh yeah, no that cat. <laughs> We've seen this cat actually sitting on the on this hive, just like watching. I'm sure there's probably mice that go in. That's why. Yeah, no, it comes right up and sits right there on top of that hive and just waits for them to try to come in and get them. <laughs> Great little uh, barn cat. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, are you doing this one? I think I want to get over here. Oh, I'm going to try and turn it off. Ready? Mm, okay. Can you get down there? Can you yep. in the face <laughs> we've gotten stuck in the face way too many times so have you though <laughs> yeah but this might be the last couple times we get to get stung this year i don't know but it doesn't mean i still am excited about it beforehand <laughs> i feel them for all three and a half seconds well to be fair i've been stung by this genetic line since the inception of my beekeeping career mm -hmm. so like they're less than a mosquito bite to me anymore but i've had gotten new queens and new bees that like swell me up or have worse reactions. Yeah. So, but that's why I kept this line because they made my knees not hurt. Yeah. Or my elbows or my knees. Yeah, but like, it hurts in the process. At least for me. Winter bees, they're sting. Oh my gosh. No, they it are burns. fierce. <laughs> they do seem like an angrier sting. I thought we were putting newspaper on we the did, side. Uh, we did for when we, uh, when we added the new queen into it because uh, we took the queen with it. Uh oh. Oh, good. Oh. So, but to be fair, we added that queen. Bees dead back there. There's what? Bees dead back there. Wait. Oh, no, nope, they're in there. Oh, they're in there. <laughs> okay, guys. That's our bad. <laughs> they, they blew up at my mouth. <laughs> I didn't get stung. I'm good. But no, I thought I heard something too. That's funny. Yeah, that one definitely needs some sugar because they're all in the top box like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. They are not dead though. No, they are not dead. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Hope there isn't like hanging out on me. Kitty, you're gonna get stung, and you're not gonna be happy about it. Why don't I just have a suit on? Maybe I should just put my jacket mm, on so I'm not keep all going. like... Keep going, we got three more. You're good. Well, I don't want to keep running away. It's like, funny to watch. And like, I it's, slammed the thing. <laughs> we'll call it a... Uh, you know, they're like, hey, what was going on? And it was so popularized down, so that's why I was like, I think there's bees in here. Like, <laughs> you, gotta, you might have to push down on that. They created an upper entrance. Yeah, they did that in one of the other hives, too. So, um... That's what she was talking about in her one video where they'll chew. You talked about that, didn't you? No, I talked about that in uh, the class yesterday, that they'll chew at the foam. Um, and it's actually not a bad... Well, okay, it's not good, but I've never seen them chew through the whole entire foam where there's, like, no foam left. Um, they usually at some point just stop chewing at it. But sometimes if they want an upper entrance, they'll chew into it and make an upper entrance for themselves. So, I mean, if they want it, then obviously they need it. They're not going to do it if they don't need it for something. So, I don't really mind it. Yeah, I, I mean, say it's okay if they chew at it because they eventually stop. You, this is the first time I've, since the very first year, I went ham on putting wraps around my hives. If she can find the pictures, she used to see the first year of my hives, what I, how, like, the extent I went to. Hey, you cared. You just wanted to make sure they would they I would still survive. care, but, like, I got, it came down to that whole, uh, how strong are the bees if I don't let them be strong? So, yeah. like, yeah. after that, when I realized it didn't really help, maybe cause more damage, I, uh, I stopped doing that, and for the most part, I have faith in... This genetic line will make it through the winter. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I bet you they're in the there's top. There's the top box too. Guarantee it. Can we pop it? Yeah. 
Nope. Oh, you can already yes, tell. One just came no, out. I already can tell. Yeah, one just came out. Do you see it on camera? But it just came out right there. It just came out and said hi. I just don't want to tear off their prop. Oh, there goes another one. I don't want yeah, to break no. their propolis seal on the top. Something hit the side of this one. It's not how we left it. Maybe a deer? Yeah. Because, like, I don't mind this bottom box being broken just because there's enough weight to push it back down and seal it all nice and pretty. But I don't like the top being broken because I'm going to get bricks out here. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, something hit this top box. Oh, this one's heavy. I wonder if they did any pallet robbing. Like, they kind of just started robbing each other, the strong drives. Oh my god. Oh. Right on there. Yeah. Yeah, that one's you gotta heavy. straighten it. This. this one is so strong. We have to straighten this up Do though. we have to? Yeah, it could snow pile up in the Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh, careful. Yep, we're good. Yeah, because now the back is open. That one. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, it looks. Stop. <laughs> I sure it's not in my hair somewhere. And it's I realize. Um, do I have a pricker in my eyebrow right here, though? Like, <laughs> you don't have to go so close. Do I? What? What are you doing? Yeah, I, the pricker bush got me, not the bee. You see what I mean? Ouch. Mm. Okay. Check it out. All right. Um, but the okay, camera, see. The camera may or may not have closed as we were running. Oh, so you turn it back on? So it's back on now. Oh, okay. That's fine. So I'm going to need to do that all over again. I'm not doing that all over you again. You got to go do that all over again. <laughs> Wait, so we didn't even get to see the last hive? We got to see part of it, but when we turned around to run away. No, they're already getting on the front of it. I'm not opening that back up. You can open it back up, love, no. and I'll stand back here. No, I need you. Here's the high tool. No, I need you to. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Look at them. They're, that one's the strongest of them all. It's super heavy. I got, I, I got to see inside of it. But then as we took off for the hills... Um... <laughs> I hit your power button because, like, oh, it's yeah, it's terribly located. Okay. Well, uh, uh, I don't want to get stung. The comment section needs to see you get stung. <laughs> <laughs> They're waiting for it. Get stung, get stung. Okay, but we gotta cut off that trigger bush first. Okay, cut off the trigger bush. It's, like, it's in a bad spot and it, like, attacks me. They're going to be so angry, though, if I open that up right now. They're no, already... I'm not doing it. They're already like, yo, you're too close. I'm not doing it. Because now they're like, hey, something just tried to open up our hive. I'm not doing it. That's fine. They're actually really strong. No, and... they are really strong. You can tell just by walking up to it how they're all just, like, starting to buzz around. So. so. But, okay, so the two hives definitely need sugar ASAP because they're in the top box. Like, they're not even in the bottom box. The only It was the two side ones over here we... That were weak right the two um on the left yeah left sorry the two on the left um those ones are the ones that were really weak and they're only in the top box right now and then the two on the right are stupid strong and stupid heavy so that's what i was talking about when i think that like sometimes they just they'll just join the other hives so um i kept i have those 10 frame ape -mays. And I kept two five frame, basically there are four frame nukes in each side of them. Mm -hmm. And what I learned halfway through the winter, whatever one, whatever one ended up eating too much of their food too fast to keep the hive warm, and the other ones would benefit from it, they would then just take on, if they got a warm day, they would then just take and move over to the other hive. Mm -hmm. And then they would just leave that hive to die, queen and all. So you'd end up seeing like, a queen and then a small cluster and then you would see them go over like they thought it was just their job to go over there but then 
the other queen would end up not having enough left to keep her warm and you'd end up only ever having one survive. With the doors facing front, that's the thing though, on April May 10 frames, both doors were facing front so they could just like march out one and go right into the other. Yeah, yeah, we were starting to see that with the, the nukes that we had this year, that like we'd have, the nukes would all be kind of like the same, then all of a sudden these nukes are crazy strong and then these nukes are just pretty much dead. <laughs> I, I would prefer the, the pallets to go, like, that one face this way, that one face that way, that one face that way, that one face that way. So they're all facing different. Like, yeah, yeah, instead of two facing the front where... Uh, yeah, actually. Well, the pallets would have to be... I wonder if you could... They'd be kind of lopsided. They'd be kind of like little, like, stars, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. Pretty an interesting design. You could try it. Sun's got you looking all beautiful. Thank you, love. No problem. <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of my theory on the bees will just kind of migrate over. Yeah. I'm not saying that's what happened, but I didn't get a really good chance to see under the lids of either one of those. So like, I don't know how strong they are. I don't want to crack the the lid because of the propolis seal. But it still seems pretty heavy. Oh no, those two are stupid heavy. Like stupid heavy. Cause like, they're so just- those ones are strong. They're just in the top box. Oh, are you talking about the weaker ones? Yeah, I think the box, like this one right here, that one right here, when I picked this one up, it was, it was heavy. Oh, yep, yeah, no, there's a lot in there. Okay. <laughs> But yeah. if they're up there, they're going to need sugar at some point. So yeah, no. You might as well just throw them on there. There is a, yeah, so there is a whole 10 frame up there. And I kind of need to see the other one. Did we, did we pop, we just popped the bottom box in it, right? Those ones are like a two frame. So they're only on two frames. Huh, okay. But. Some of them probably went over and joined because that hive is so strong. There shouldn't be that many bees in there. That's what I'm saying. It's like I think a ton the, of bees. They just kind of picked what they. It looks like at some point each high, each pallet picked the strongest three queens and cut the fourth one and they just joined the strongest three. Yeah, because I'm curious about. So, I mean, the, the bees, they they can pick which queens are stronger based off of their pheromones. Um, they do that when they have different queens hatch out. That's why they'll sometimes kill cells or, like, even the, the queens will fight to the death. And so, I honestly have always wondered if they'll just kind of, like... Or, like, even, like, when you, like, you take a queen out of a hive and, like, say you just, like, have it in a cage and you put it on top of a hive. Have you ever done that and then had a swarm of bees just all over that queen? Um, it happened to me a couple times with a couple different queens last year that I saw. So, they're going to pick the strongest queen. So, if they know their queen's not so, so great, they're probably going to start moving over into different hives to kind of join her. Well, I do know on next year I want to try, uh hanging a queen in a tree in a cage and seeing if we can create an artificial swarm that way. Yeah, we've never done that. Yeah, we need to try that that's stuff. That's something I would like to try next year. Yeah. So that's on the experiment list. Yep, definitely. But yeah, no, I, I think solidly, they're all still really strong. I mean... You guys saw them, what was that, a month ago? Where mm. they were crazy, like, wow. But all, they also had that pumpkin flow, which really helped. So. Yes. Yeah. And the Ripley, so... Yeah. But I gotta come up with a new name for next year. Why? It's Viplidoo's original genetics. Technically... Well, yeah, it's like are, technically... These are Connie's. Oh. It went Connie, Tiny Tina, um, <laughs> God <laughs> Queen Tyre God Queen Tyrene, <laughs> um, then it went to, uh, Rockstar. Oh, I remember Rockstar, yeah, because I had some of hers. And, and then, then I went, accidentally took half of her cluster away. And this year it went into Viplidu. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, she. so Viplidu is actually Rockstar's genetics. Okay. Which is then God Queen Tyrene, Tiny Tina, Connie. Yeah. Yes. So if you guys have any ideas for uh, names for next year, throw them in the comments. 
Or do you have any idea where I've been getting my names? <laughs> well, they know where Vipludu came from, if they remember. Which is kind of <laughs> funny that you're wearing the shirt that we got the name. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but now people can stalk you. Or watch out. I mean, if you kidnap me, kidnap me good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. It was fun. Um, gonna have a video coming soon on how to feed, what we do to feed, because we did not feed any sugar water this year whatsoever. We did in the springtime to help boost them up because we have a secret formula for that. Um, but we did not do any fall feeding whatsoever. Maybe we'll experiment with that next year. I don't know. I just feel like it in the past, it's just been kind of pointless, but maybe we need to hone in on how to feed. Maybe that's part of it too. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll all get to see together. Yep. And yeah. All right, I'm gonna fake punch you when I do the don't quit, be fit, don't freak out. <laughs> like last time. All right, don't quit and be fit. <laughs> oh my God, my eye. <laughs>